Hey guys, it's Connor from Brisbane FTV. Today we're going to be doing China balls or DIY China balls. Um, typically you can get these from like Dragon Image or photography shops. They're actually called like a sphere soft box, but we've made our own today. And the main benefit of having these lights is doing shoots where you're either outside or you've got a, a gimbal shot and you can't set up lights. They're gonna be in the shot. They're gonna get in the way. So what we've done right now, we've made it ourselves. We've got a broom handle and we've just pretty much gaff taped that to the end of our china ball. And we've actually used one of the JMC lights and just put that inside. And what that's actually doing is when the light's hitting it, it's diffusing it in this nice sort of round space. To be honest, the lighting on your subject looks fairly natural. It just seems like a nice ambient sort of light. When you're doing a lot of guerrilla filmmaking, if you're out on the street, um, you can't actually set up lights and you're very limited to the lights in your environment. And this just allows you to get a bit more creative control. Um, but it was really tricky when we did this because we kind of had to coordinate myself, Beck, and Sean so we weren't tripping over each other. So we're gonna run through the scene and I'm just gonna show you sort of what we did and, and, and how we did that. So first off, we had Beck just sort of walking forward. We found this corner point was a bit too sharp for us. So we actually had to get, get Beck to walk wider which allowed you know, me, the camera operator, to, to get into that position you know, nice and smoothly. It was tricky, as you can see right now, Sean is trying to fit <laughs> this light um, in the area. We did run this take a few times because we have stairs. I nearly fell down once, so be really careful when you're practicing this. As you can see, Sean essentially had to swing really wide and then just get that light out of the way because it was overexposing Beck when she actually finally reached the door here. We left the tungsten lamp on because we actually had a bit of contrast. It wasn't just the one light source. Once we come inside, we just use the ambient torch light to just sort of shine down, create that silhouette, something that's nice and dynamic. While this is happening, Sean is actually sneaking in from behind and spinning around with me as we do that 360 to get in front of Beck. Now we come to the, the back half of the house here. We are getting a lot of spill off of the, the walls from this china ball, but it's creating that sort of ambient bounce that we're after. Nighttime in a film isn't just straight dark. There is a bit of something going on here and this just sort of fit the mood. Lastly, this was a bit of a coordination part. Sean essentially had to stand behind me here and completely swing the light over, press it right up against this wall because we did have reflections in the posters as well. And that's a benefit again of using the china ball technique is that you're able to manipulate this light. You can put it wherever you want. And lastly, we felt the entire scene needed a motivation. There would have been no payoff if we just had Beck just coming in. We just did the shot to show you guys. So to give the motivation, we had this sort of briefcase sort of scenario. Uh, this China ball that I've got, I got it from Ikea. It was like 10 bucks. So, you know, really great homemade technique to get some nice soft lighting. Yeah, this is a great thing you can use at home that you can make yourself during quarantine and just muck around, have a play with it. it it's really soft lighting. It, again, it costs 10 bucks. Everyone's got a broom handle, I'm sure. Just duct tape that in. So that's it for this week's Film at Friday. Stay safe, stay creative, guys, and we'll see you next week.